Hello all, this is Deco Fanblade, and today we're going to be going over the Radionix Display Keypad and its features. So right off the bat, Radionix is a, it's a panel that uh, it's programmable only by, uh, by via a programmer. So there are no commands on the keypad whatsoever to program the panel. So you pretty much, when you when you get a Bosch, which is now branded Radionix, now became Bosch. When you get a Bosch panel, the panel will be programmed by your company. So you got to let them know your your zone specifics and your uh, how much time and the rest of your preferences, what you need out of the panel. What we have here is the basic settings of the Radionix panel. And uh, I'm going to go over them right now. Over here on the keypad, we got all the basic preferences, all right? So, on the display, we got ready to arm, all right? So when you want to arm everything, you go to command and press 1. Then you input your passcode, which I'll just... Uh, you can actually change it. You got to... There you go. Oh, you got to be quick about this. All right, because it because it takes it deletes it. All right, so right now it's gonna start the countdown. You have, in my case, I have thirty seconds to get out of here, and when it finishes the countdown, you'll guys see in a second here what happens when the countdown runs out. Right. All right, so all secure. Now, um, if you want to cancel the alarm, you can always trip the wire. Okay, let's trip the sensor. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna open up the door. Okay, and, and there we go. You start the countdown. As you can see, you get the disarm now feature. It's basically. You input your code and you press the enter button. And there we go, it's disarmed. Let's say you want to arm the system for interior or for stay. So what you do is press command 2. As you can see, you're going to press command 2 and enter passcode again because it does ask you for your passcode every time you do a command prompt. And there we go, it's instant arm. So if I were to open up the, the door right now, uh, the system will go into, a, uh, into an immediate alarm. It won't go to a countdown. And this is when you're staying indoors. However, the motion is, uh, is bypassed, so I can move around inside and do whatever uh, inside that isn't an, a perimeter marked zone. To simply get, uh, to simply just disarm the system, so I will do right here, right now. There we go, ready to arm. All right. So, let's say you got the 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 sounder going off. You got the reset right here, so you do Command Four, and the system is reset right there. So, there is also a feature which I do not have it activated in this panel which is the watch mode which you, there are two ways to activating it one is via here It'll, watch mode is on now so that means what watch mode is basically when you open a, a perimeter marked zone let's say an entrance door uh, it'll emit a beep where you can actually uh, hear if someone just tripped that uh, zone there so let me switch that off because it's really redundant to have that on. Watch mode is now off. So we got special and partial, which are partial. What it means is basically arming half the system or other zones that are marked as. It's basically an, in, uh, an interior zone, basically. So if you want to arm it for partial, you just basically do command eight and you arm the system with countdown and just arm like the interior or perimeter zones, whichever is programmed to your system. Here we have a quick command, which is the police. It'll emit uh, an alarm. 
And finally, special, I forgot to mention that special is uh you you basically got to get the 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 pro you basically got to do um you got to get the, pro, the 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 person that comes to install your bar system basically has to program that special for an instant alarm or like an emergency alarm let's say ambulance or fire or police which still police is already marked there so you can pretty much do anything with this button special and finally we have uh well not finally but we have bypass here so pretty much you know what it means which is hit zero the system will ask you well enter passcode again there we go and then you got to enter the the point number so i want to bypass point two which is the motion all right so we got to hit enter and motion one as you can see, reviews, we go enter, point two bypassed. There we go. So now, to get out of uh, bypassing, we just simply hit escape. So you can see it's marked escape. And now we can go ahead and arm the system. And by doing so, we basically do, there we go. Oh, hang on a second. We gotta check the area. Okay. So yeah, we have area one bypassed. And then we got to re-enter. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, never mind. We got to re-enter the code. There we go. Press enter. There we go. Enter. Bypass arm. Yes. And there we go. It's arming. All right. I'm gonna stop the. I'm gonna stop the countdown here. There we go. And we're back to status now however we do have a uh, menu in there these two buttons right here preview and next review past alarms let's say I had a uh, motion one which uh, someone earlier today tripped the motion while the system was armed and I had an alarm so we can actually review as you can see what we have we have area bypassed and such we have the motion one and area one bypassed all right now um hang on to get into the menu you have a, a hidden menu which is basically the menu button and we can go and see we can view the point the point statuses we can view which we can activate watch mode if we want it we can uh and, and there's other as well other menu options that you you can actually get on the system